Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to repair a Seagate hard drive PCB board. The motor chip on the PCB board is burned. The motor IC is the IC to drive the hard drive motor to spin to spin up the disks. It consumes a lot of power, so most likely it is the first victim on the PCB board to get burned. Sometimes you can see burn mark on the chip, but most of the time you cannot see anything on it. But it is burned. If this chip is burned, the hard drive will not spin. The motor IC is a high integrated SMD chip. It is not an easy thing to work on it. If after replacing the motor IC, the PCB board still doesn't work, we should think about the two common reasons. 1. Replacing the PCB board failed. 2. Other part of the PCB board is damaged as well. Now we talk about the second solution, swap the whole PCB board. Swapping the PCB board is another common way to fix hard drive PCB board problem. The advantage part of swapping the PCB board is 1. Guarantee the PCB board is good because we use the PCB board from a working hard drive. 2. Swapping the PCB board is more easier than soldering the SMD chips. In order to swap the whole PCB board, we need to do two things. 1. Find a donor PCB board. 2. PCB board from a transfer. Locate the model number of the hard drive. All the Seagate hard drive model numbers start from ST. This picture shows where to find the PCB board number on the PCB board. Different hard drives, different PCB boards. The PCB board's locations are different. If you cannot find the location of your hard drive PCB board number, you may go to hdd-parts.com, input the model number of the hard drive, and then take a look at the picture. The picture will show you the PCB board number, the location. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, 
we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.